Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. I hope everyone is well. How are you doing? Are you fabulous? I'm pretty fabulous right now. Oh, found two. Who will be next? Scorpio. I drew the death card. Can you see that? There's, there's a little bit of a glare. I'm sorry. Can you see it? You're next. I gotta like reposition crap so I can actually like, you know, do this without there being ridiculous amounts of glare. Mmm. All right. It's reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from now until the end of June. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. It's not going to resonate with every Scorpio. Check your moon, rising, your Venus sign readings. If you think you might want to view something that may resonate a little bit better, because it may not. I'm just being honest. What works, works. Okay. Time and energy are both fluid. All things can, maybe vice versa. May play out from the perspective of a cross watcher, and cross watchers are welcome here too. I think these cards are done being shuffled, so let's find out what's going on. Okay. Condensation. It's just driving me crazy. I kind of got to do that so my cards don't get wet. Why are you here, Scorpio? Two of Pentacles. Weighing some options? Possibly. <clears throat> Trying to get a little bit of balance back into your life? Possibly. Dealing with an earth sign? Possibly. What do you want from the person you're dealing with? Sorry, how do you feel about the person you're dealing with? I'm getting ahead of myself. Four of Pentacles. You feel like they're holding something back. Or they're a little bit of a tight wad. Take it however it resonates. What do you think of them? Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. You could possibly be having a deja vu moment when you think about them. Or when you think about the whole situation with them. It's like, this has happened before. Something mysterious. Could be a karmic partner. Could be. Karmic soulmates are great. It's a downward cycle of events. It's changed not necessarily for the better. What do you want from them? Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Not quite sure why that's in the reverse. I can't imagine you not wanting the best for them. So we'll get clarity on that in a minute. How do they feel about you? Justice in the reverse. They could be a Libra. Possibly. They feel like you're not a balanced or fair person, possibly. We'll get clarity in a minute. What do they think of you? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Slowed down to a crawl. I mean, they're slow moving, and then there's not doing anything. This is stagnant. What do they want from you? Knight of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Hmm.
And hearing they want an apology, but you're not holding your breath. Or they're not holding their breath. They want an apology, but they're not holding their breath. Look at clarity in a minute. What's the obstacle here? The moon reversed. Something wasn't fair. Downward turn of events, karmic partner. Things coming to a dead stop. Scorpio, I think the obstacle here is you weren't supposed to know why. The obstacle is trying to illuminate the why. Okay. What can be done? Ace of Pentacles. Oh, wow. New starts and new things that could potentially be abundant. Or bringing the house plant back in. We'll see what the clarifiers say. Alright. I don't want to move that back yet. Put that there. Alright. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can we get some... Clarity on the cards, on the table for Scorpio for the end of June, please. I attempt to be graceful about it. I try. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Two of Cups reversed, holding something back, possibly in regards to a connection. Or something disconnecting. You're in separation, quite obviously. It's all coming to me now. You feel like they held something back. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here? They could have been withholding emotions, you withholding the truth. High Priestess Reverse comes out on top of a Wheel of Fortune reversed. Goes back to Karmic Partner. The High Priestess is like the 5D card. Like, this was set up before you came down here. unacknowledged connection. For sure. You just kind of knew him. It was eerie. You felt it. Maybe they didn't. Or maybe they felt it and you didn't. All things can be vice versa here. It's things being held back. Connections not being acknowledged. Why is the Ten of Pentacles reversed here? Did you see? 
see what that was. I saw what that was. Either, they, either you want to lay it to rest or you want them to lay it to rest. The fact that it didn't work out. That you didn't get what you wanted. That you didn't get your wish. You didn't get your happy ending. That it's not going to be the big brick house with the white picket fence and the 2.5 kids and the dog and the pool and all that happy jazz. You want to lay it to rest so you can move forward. You threw the heartbreak part of it. That's, that's where you want them to be. You just want to progress. So eventually you can move forward. Okay. Why is justice reversed here? For how the other person feels about... Scorpio. Five pentacles. It wasn't fair. Somebody got left out in the cold. Possibly somebody got ghosted. Possibly. Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed here? Pardon me. Oh, you showed yourself. Nope. You showed yourself. The hermit. Self-isolated. One more. Things came to a dead stop. I think you just kind of went off in the woods somewhere and self-isolated, possibly. Weapons down. You just threw the towel in. Wow. They think you gave up. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reversed here? Justice in the upright. They want an apology. Or they want to apologize to you. Take it however it resonates. They want justice. They want a leveling of the playing field. They want even Stevens. However you want to look at it. They want an apology, but they highly doubt they're ever going to get it. Why is the moon reversed here? Reversed. Emperor reversed. Okay. It wasn't supposed to be eliminated. You're never supposed to know why. The Emperor in the reverse vulnerability. Karmic partners teach us karmic lessons. Never forget that. It's why they come in. To teach you the lessons that your soul is supposed to learn in this life. Lessons that you have not learned in other lifetimes. You know, if that's the belief system you choose. I don't try to push my stuff on anybody. Death. Speak. 
speaking of spiritual change and metamorphosis, out it comes. You weren't supposed to know why. The challenge in this connection is that it still bothers you, Scorpio, or it still bothers them. It's still bothering somebody. You could be someone's karmic partner. And they're hung up because they don't realize that there's a karmic lesson here that they're supposed to learn. And they're never supposed to know why. Until the light bulb goes on for them. You can't turn on somebody else's light bulb. You can't walk in someone else's shoes. You can't live someone else's journey. It's their journey. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Ace of Pentacles and the Princess of Wands. New ventures, new things, new paths of abundance, forward movement. That's amazing. Okay, let's get your advice, Scorpio. Eight of Pentacles and the Devil Reversed. Be careful what you put your energy into. Work on you, your path, your abundance, and disconnect from the things that don't serve your path. Take off the cement shoes. The Magician and the King of Cups. Manifest what you want in a relationship. Manifest what... <sighs> but you have to be open to it. You can't be closed off. So if you say you want a relationship, you have to genuinely want a relationship. The universe is listening. And you can manifest at this point probably just about anything you want with this magician card popping up right now. But make sure it's what you want. The Chariot and the Two of Wands. You need to put some, at very least emotional distance between you and this person, if not physical distance. And you need to let the wand of the past go and move forward. Keep on trucking. One more. <laughs> King of Wands in the reverse and the Two of Swords in the upright. There's no such thing as a wrong path. It really isn't. All paths lead inevitably down the path you're supposed to go down. It's like one of those, I forget exactly what they were called. I read them all the time when I was a kid. I got them out of the school library. But down in the margin, like at the bottom of the page, you could, you know, flip to a page and that was the next part of your story. That, that's what the journey is. You pick your own destiny. There's no such thing as a wrong path. 
you might stumble along the way. But there's no such thing as a wrong path or a wrong decision here. So don't get hung up on the decision. And don't let the decision stop you from moving forward. If that makes any sense to anybody. All right, Scorpio, this has been your reading for the end of June. I appreciate you. Thanks for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. You know I won't. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload again. All things are appreciated. And um, I'm not doing personal readings right now because I'm, like, super-duper booked and super-duper behind. And I'm actually, like still responding to people in the order in which I got the emails. So if you put in a request for a personal reading and I have not replied to you yet, just be patient. I am getting to you. Okay. Much love. Be blessed. I love you to bits and I will catch you later.